Human sacrifice is our topic today. I have been on this topic for a while and um, I would like to discuss it in relation to the current African culture as we have it today. But for us to get to the current, we need to revisit the ancient in order to understand the current. That's how life is really. You want to understand oneself fully, you need to get to the root of your existence, which is in relation to parents, grandparents, great grandparents, great 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 grandparents, in essence, your ancestry, in order to understand who you truly are and be able to pass this on to the descendants so they themselves can understand whose lineage they are from. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. My name is Blessing. You can also call me Lady B. If you haven't subscribed, do consider to do so by pressing the red button and the bell next to it. Thank you. So today we'll be talking about the ancient practices of animal sacrifice in the African culture. Like I have been saying in my previous videos, animal sacrificing is very common in the African culture because this is a practice that has been passed on from generation to generation and still existing. But something has occurred because most African households currently do not practice this ritual sacrificing any longer. Why? Because of the introduction of the Christian religion to Africa as a whole. So this religion, as opposed to the ancient African spirituality of offering animals to the deities, has been absorbed by the Christian religion. It is in the Christian teaching that those practices are things of old and should not be accommodated any longer. Why? Because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. So the Christian religion teaches Africans or teaches in general that there is no need for any other sacrifice except the one that Jesus Christ has done. So most African households do not practice the sacrifice of animals anymore to deities. And so what they do currently is that the Christian religion and the principles have been accepted by the Africans. So the ancient African practice of animal sacrifice is in minimal practice. Some Africans still hold on to that culture that has been passed to them from ancient times. But most Africans see those practices today as evil and fetish. So we have come to understand that animal sacrifice is something that occurred in the African culture for ages. But currently there is a problem, in fact a big problem in the African culture today, which is a problem of human sacrifice. A culture that is foreign to the ancient African culture. Why? Because there's a lot of kidnapping going on. There's a lot of human trafficking going on. There's a lot of people being kidnapped just for the purposes of their human organs to be sold. So that those who are in need of kidney transplants, heart transplants and so on get access to this because oftentimes we find that people don't want to offer their kidneys voluntarily or any part of their bodies voluntarily, which is understandable really. But the thing is, this has created and continues to create major problems in the world right now because of the high demand for these human organs. So we find that people are kidnapped just for the purposes of extracting their human organs. And some of these things do happen in, in a very gory form whereby their human organs are taken out of their body even while they have breath 
in them. Human trafficking, human sacrificing has become a major problem. I continue to say it's not in the ancient African practice for humans to be sacrificed. It is foreign. Now, it's been seen as though, oh, this is part of African culture. That's how Africans are. No, it's a foreign culture that has been brought to the continent and has created a major problem. When did it graduate from sacrificing animals to deities for the purposes of as we have come to understand it, breaking divine laws in the type of food that humans are meant to be consuming to consuming meat or flesh, which created a vacuum of spirituality. And so for this act of consuming meat to be acceptable, the same meat had to be gifted to the deities in appeasement to breaking the divine law. But this is no longer being done because the Christian religion teaches that it's in opposition of such practice for the fact that a human life has been gifted to God. Therefore, there's no need for animals to be sacrificed. Jesus Christ was a human that was sacrificed. He was a sacrifice. According to the narrative of the Bible. So whatever the purpose of this dehumanization or human sacrifice is, it's not justifiable because that's another human being we are talking about here. And it's this pattern of human sacrifice does not just relate to the Christian religion. It also relates to other major religions where you have practices like crusades. The original meaning of crusade in the religious aspect is that of war. One aspect of religious people warring against another aspect of religious people because of the differences in their beliefs. That is what the original meaning of crusade was. And the underlying cause of this problem is capitalization. People do this because of money. Human sacrifice is a growing problem because of money. People are indulging in human sacrificing, not to the deities, but for selfish reasons like sacrificing other humans for the purposes of money, either by selling body parts of human beings. I don't know who the hell wants to have body parts of human beings. I mean, when it comes to medical purposes, some people are in need of kidney, but why should other human beings as against their will be kidnapped and their human parts be taken out of them to give another. It's now a concept of take one human being as a sacrifice to save the other one. Where is this concept coming from? If you look at it, we are now dealing with sacrificing some group of human beings to save other group of human beings as though the other human beings life is not important. So one has to be sacrificed to save the other. Do you see how religion is indirectly promoting this? Or is it people that are actually using religion to promote this? Because religion is there for the purposes of having divine relationship or improving divine relationship. People are using religion for their selfish desires however they want to and then end up blaming it on religion. So human sacrifice has become not just a concept but a big problem in our society. Around the world is something that we are losing control of as humans and this also has to do with the imbalance in society whereby in some aspect of the of the world you see riches and wealth but when you look at other parts of of the world you see poverty and hunger where some are having it all and the others are not and those who are not are like aren't we also humans we also want a slice of the cake we also want to better our lives but are going about it the wrong way because no human life should be sacrificed 
for the purposes of satisfying selfish and despicable desires. When you look at what happened to the African continent during colonization, millions of Africans were forcefully taken out of their continent, naked and chained, placed on a ship and those Africans who couldn't make it, who fell sick on those ships, were sacrificed. How? By being thrown into the ocean. Those African ancestors thrown into the ocean were human sacrifices. Their lives were sacrificed. Some even voluntarily jumped into the ocean because they could not bear the fact that they had become prisoners and were taken far away from their kingdoms. Those are human sacrifices in their millions. The disciples of Jesus Christ were also human sacrifices for the Christian gospel. Activists who speak up against injustice in societies or the societies that they find themselves but their lives were taken are also human sacrifices. Although the interpretation of human sacrifice is a human that is sacrificed to a deity or deities. Today, human sacrifices come in different forms and shapes. Human sacrifice currently is not just about kidnapping a human for the purposes of ritual sacrifices. Human sacrifices today is also about taking another human being's life and using that as a scapegoat to warning others not to speak their truth, not to be who they have been proposed to be by killing these human beings or sacrificing these human beings. Human sacrifice today currently takes different forms and that's why this has become so popular and has become a decay amongst humanity. It's become not just a decay but also a disease in most human cultures today. We might probably say, oh, it's got nothing to do with you. It's only happening in a certain part of the world, so it's got nothing to do with you. Well, we must understand that the world is getting smaller and smaller every day with the level of the growth of technology. These days, you don't even have to travel. This has now become a global problem not just a problem associated with one particular country anymore. It's a global problem and it's something that we all have to stand up against, speak up against in order to, if possible, eradicate it. It's going to take a process for us to get to that level because human sacrifice is something that is affecting everyone right now and we need to create awareness speak against it and do all that we can to control it the purposes of the sacrifice of animals in the ancient african culture is not just for offering of gift to the deities but for the shortcomings of breaking the divine law of the particular type of food humanity is supposed to be consuming. I hope we are able to re-educate ourselves on learn, learn and recreate a better culture for all humanity. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Take care now.